Okay, Ben, thanks. All right, now to the coronavirus and today's numbers. In the past 24 hours, 73 Michiganders have died and 1,191 have tested positive. That is a significant increase from yesterday, which the state says is due to a backlog of results coming in from multiple labs. State also says 35 of the deaths in today's count, which is also up, are from a review of past death certificates. Amid a protest today at the Capitol, Governor Whitmer had some positive news. She thinks the state is getting close to being ready to allow small personal gatherings. Here's what she said. There is the very real chance that we can take the next step forward in the next phase, and that could include the potential of, um, you know, 10 or less gatherings. But the fact of the matter is we can't say that definitively right now. But the current restrictions didn't stop the protest at the state capitol today. Rod Maloney was there as they demanded Michigan open. Today's protest was certainly much smaller than the previous two. The weather probably had a lot to do with that, but it was eventful in that there were a couple of skirmishes amongst the protesters and Michigan State Police confiscated a long handled ax. And yet there were no arrests. Michigan State more visible today as protesters huddled in the driving rain much of the morning. Organizer Adam DeAngeli says for all the controversy about long gun toting protesters, and there were more today, he says the governor's characterizations ignore the real frustration. People are here because they're seeing the state dramatically falling apart under the governor's orders, and they want their liberty back and they want our prosperity back. Rosemarie Denton of Northville believes there's more than civil rights at play. This has just gone on for way too long to keep extending this deadline and then tell us if the protesters come out, you children are going to be in your bedrooms for longer. I mean, she's treating us like we're small children. It's absurd. That's why these people are here. Today, the governor didn't criticize this gathering. I do think that, you know, it sounds as though nothing got too terribly out of control, and, and that is, um, that's a good thing. But many in the crowd did get close together, and few wore masks. They're supposed to be wearing masks. Every one of us has to keep wearing our masks. People are adults, and I think part of the reason why people might not be wearing masks is because they want to make a statement that they're not going to be subjected to this climate of fear. Now, the governor says that she's willing to at least look at moving to phase four by the end of the month. Whether that's enough to placate protesters is another question for another day. In Lansing, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, the organizing group Michigan United for Liberty did file a lawsuit against the governor seeking to remove her stay-at-home order.